Welcome to the Grand Frontier. Three new ACARSes from Auto Trail, and this is the baby of the range. It's only seven meters long. It's the GF70, it's based on the Fiat Ducato with an Alco extension, and it's a two berth as standard, although it sleeps four. Come and have a look inside. This is a good solid body. It's GRP. It's uh, on the Fiat Ducato cowl with an Alco chassis extension out the back. So ride is going to be particularly good. It's got items that you'd expect on a premium A-Class vehicle like the coach style mirrors, the flush fitting windows, the one piece door with a, with a window to it as well. And note the recessed awning at the top there. Very neat little touch. Now an A-Class may look intimidating from the outside, but when you're in the driver's seat, it's actually a really good vehicle to drive. One of the reasons for that is these front pillars are exactly the front corners of your vehicle. So you know exactly where you are on the road. You've also got this massive windscreen, so you've got a great view out and you really are the king or queen of the road. Um, Fiat's cab for 2022 is very well equipped as well. It's the 160 brake horsepower engine as standard, which is more than adequate, especially with the six speed manual transmission. I know a lot of people want to go for automatic and it is a pricey option from Fiat, but there's also the option to go for the 180 brake horsepower engine, which will make your touring just that bit more relaxed. So this is daytime mode in the GF70. Two settees, the longer one is on the offside, the shorter one on the near side, then of course the facility to swivel both cab seats. It's easily done as well because this is the beauty of an A-Class motorhome. You've got all this extra cab space um, with large windows to each side and of course the big windscreen out the front. So it's great for looking out and admiring the views. And here's the other beauty of an A-Class motorhome. That extra width, if you like, in the cab area means we can have a bed like this that literally just pulls down. And there we are, a ready-made double. And it's perfectly comfortable as well. A nice one-piece mattress on a sprung slatted base. Um, good head height as well. Um, if I was to be critical, I'd say it lacks a bit of ventilation directly overhead. But other than that, really comfortable and a guaranteed good night's sleep. This is a kitchen to make any motorhome owner proud. It's slightly L-shaped, lovely slate effect worktop here. That's a drainer and also a, a loose cover for the circular sink, a very elegant tap as well. The cooker has a dual fuel hob, so there's three gas rings and an electric hot plate. There's a separate grill and oven, and then there's a microwave oven set away neatly just above here. No extractor, but there is an omnivent over here. Great storage, by the way, under here. And turn around, and here's the large fridge freezer. The GF70 layout allows for a full width washroom and Autotrail have made the most of this because there's a good size shower in here. It's plastic lined, it's got a deep footwell as well. There's actually a clothes hanging rail in here and a strip light rather than just a down lighter or two. Um, there's still plenty of space in the washroom. So there's a swivel bowl toilet here and a basin just in the corner behind me. Great for storage. There's storage below the basin, two lockers above, um, good size mirror as well, some open shelving either side, and loads of details. There's a toilet roll holder, there's a towel holder here, and down lighters all round to two sides as well. So it's a, a washroom par excellence. As you'd expect from a sort of flagship range from Auto Trail, there's no shortage of standard kit. The media pack is standard, hence the TV under the, the timbre door locker here, 21 and a half inch screen. There's a solar panel, a 100 watt solar panel up on the roof. Uh, Aldi heating and hot water is standard as well. 
the leather upholstery that you can see, that is actually an option. Other than that, lots and lots of details throughout. There's um, strip lighting above and below the lockers, LED reading lights, there's a USB port here. Just the one mains socket that I've found so far, and that's here at the kitchen. There's the skylight, big roof light over the main living area as well. Um, concertina blinds and fly screens, as you'd expect. Touch control panel is up here. Even the umbrella is standard. And that's the Grand Frontier GF70. Two berth as standard, and I think most people will want to keep it that way. You probably want to go for the engine upgrade and possibly even the automatic transmission option as well. But GF, Grand Frontier, luxury touring.